traditionally the uh, upgrading work has focused on, on housing, land, services, um, and maybe not as much on I issues of health and now particularly issues of climate change. I think those are two, the health and climate change issues are two issues that um, we try to support the work today and moving forward. So even in the work in Mathare and definitely in Makuru, making the linkage between inadequate services, between social inequalities, between gender inequalities that are exacerbated by physical and social dynamics uh, in the informal settlements and human health uh, has been something that we've tried to bring to uh, as evidence, as data, as a set of arguments for advocacy and upgrading to add to the work that's already happening. Uh, our experience is that when you approach someone in power, a decision maker, a politician, someone with resources, um, and you say, hey, people are need to be housed. They need a house. It's fair. It's the just. It's the right thing to do. You get a particular response from that person in power. When you can go to that same person and say, people are dying. Women and children are going to die and are going to be sick. You get a very different response. And the power of making a health and a life and death argument, linking it back to the same issues of housing, of quality services, uh, of land rights, um, of inclusion, has been, I think, uh, something that we've tried to offer to the movement. Uh, and now I think with climate change, uh, we have an, another opportunity to continue to do that. Climate change is also a health issue. Uh, it's an infrastructure issue. It's a uh, economic inclusion issue. Uh, there's a gender dimension, of course, to climate issues. So ensuring that uh, the world's response, Kenya's response, Nairobi's response to climate change and climate adaptation prioritizes the issues of the urban poor, means that they prioritize housing, services, infrastructure, health, uh, and inclusion in the benefits of the city in the, some of the same ways you've been talking about for years. Um, but adding that this is a climate issue, a climate justice issue, I think is um, going to help push the argument and attract uh, maybe resources or other partners in ways that just talking about the issues, again, as housing and land rights may not. So those climate and health frames uh, really are just to add to um, the advocacy and, and work that's, that's been going on for, for two decades.